All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today we are looking at a set of Odyssey LCD headphones. And we're gonna do a change on the uh, suspension headband specifically. So obviously the older versions have the uh, headband that looked like this. We're not doing that. I have another video for that. We're doing just the actual suspension uh, headband strap, not the actual suspension um, metal frame. Right, so what you're going to get in your package from us is going to be the new headband strap here, which is original cowhide, and also a mini Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, for pre-installation, the only thing you really need to know is how the clip works here. So this is an older clip, but they work the same way. Basically, uh, with installing the suspension headband, you're going to have three layers. You're going to have the faceplate, like such as the, the R right here. After the faceplate, you have the headband, and then you have the metal or the graphite headband, whichever one, or uh, suspension headband, whichever one you have. And the way it works is you're going to have the faceplate layered on top of the headband, and then uh, you're going to have the uh, clip, sorry, the metal or carbon fiber headband behind the headband strap, and then you have the clip, and all three of those need to align with these, this little square, you can see there's a little cutout here, it's a little ridge, it's the exact spot where the, uh, all three of those are going to sit over top, and then you put the screws in and tighten them in. Okay, removing the headband strap is pretty straightforward. There's two ways of doing it, however, we have supplied a Phillips head screwdriver, so the way that we're going to do this one is we're going to be removing the screws here that hold the headband strap in place. The second option is to remove the flat headed screws up here and here. However, I have found that when you start pulling these metal things in and out, these little clips here can break. This little button here, which helps the slider stay in place when you adjust it. Uh, mine actually broke a while ago. They're quite finicky, so taking them on and off, I don't bother with it. I'm just sticking with the easy way, which is might be a bit more time consuming, but it's just going to be these screws on the side. All the screws are right here. There's four on each side. What you want to do is I'm looking at this from as if you're wearing it. So right here, it'd be as if it's on your head like that. And you have the thick part of the pad at the back. So I know that this side's left, this side's right. When you take off this um, strap, there is a metal face that has the L and the R on it. They actually rotate around and there's a different L or R on the other side as well. So. When I take them off, I'm just going to put the L here and the R here, just so I know exactly where uh, I need to install those plates. The last thing you want to do is put the headband on correct, and then you have to change the L and R over to the different sides, because you then have to take the whole headband off again, because the screws let loose the uh, face plate, the headband, and the, bat the main uh, frame of the headband as well. So, here we go. These four screws first. Now, if you have a larger screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver that fits, you might want to try it, just because uh, it might be a bit quicker. But the one that we have will work just fine. It is a bit awkward. I'm going to move it over here. the left one and the left face plate right there all right now do the same for the right side okay we have the old headband off and we have the new headband which we're going to put on now the old headband is a little bit thinner than the new headband this one's a new one so when we screw the screws in on the ends, we're going to want to make sure that they're tight, just because it being thicker, we don't want to we don't want to have the uh, threading not catching onto the uh, inside of the uh, clip on the end. Okay, so I have the headband, okay. um, the metal frame right here, or the graphite one, whichever one you have. 
I have the strap in there, the new one. And then we have our right side with our right faceplate, our four screws. We have our left side with our left faceplate and our left four screws. Since it's a new headband, we want to make sure these holes in the leather are nice and wide. So we're going to stick the screwdriver in and just move them around a bit. And that'll make it nice and easy for these screws to go in. Just like that. And then to the other side as well. That'll just make installation a little bit easier. Now I have the faceplate. And I'm going to put the screw into the faceplate like so. And I'm going to put that into the matching hole on the headband like so, or the strap I should say. I'm going to put it in as far as I can, right there. You can see it's in quite well, you can see it's sticking out. Now you got to sit this in here and you got to put it into the hole of the metal frame as well. There we go. Sit that there. Okay. So it's a bit finicky because this thing falls all over the place, kinda. And there we go. So now taking the left ear phone, and I'm gonna line this up. And ideally, I'm going to get the screw into the hole here. Hopefully it's lined up and I'm just gonna screw. There you go. I'm gonna tighten it as much as I can. And then what I want to do is I want to, I can't show you this, but basically it's a bit too close. You have one screw in all the way. We want to now look at the other holes and we want to see if the leather strap underneath aligns to the hole of the faceplate. If it's off by a bit, what we're going to do is just unscrew this slightly and we can then move the leather strap and the faceplate around till they match better. Like that. I'm going to leave that unscrewed slightly and I'm going to put in the next screw. I'm going to go diagonal just so I have one on top and one on the bottom. That will make it easier to uh, screw in the rest when both levels are kind of secured in place or aligned, I should say. Let's see here. There we go. They might not match up perfectly, but as soon as you start to actually screw the screw in, it just tends to go through and it's all right. There we go. Bottom one in now, and just two more. Now remember that you do want to tighten them quite well because the strap is a bit thicker than the original so that it lasts longer. And we need to make sure that they're tight so that the threading goes into the holes inside of the clips on the ends. All right, that is one, that is the left side. Big part of the ear pad at the back. Okay, now it gets a bit annoying. It's the same routine, but it's a bit annoying because this thing's in the way. So get that right faceplate, oops, get the right faceplate, and that one screw. We want to align that with the leather piece here, get it in that matching hole as well as possible. There we go. That's pretty good. And then into the frame. There we go, that's 
in. Okay. Now into the clip. So I'm going to try and sit this ear pad on top of the other one. Hopefully that makes it easier to align it and place it. So I've got that in place pretty well right now, like so. And then you do want to put a decent amount of force while you're holding that plate in place. And then we're going to screw, screw in. Okay. That is one right there. And I'm going to look at these holes. Are they aligned? They're off a bit, so I'll unscrew that slightly. I'm just going to move this faceplate and this leather strap a bit. That's better. Going diagonal. Hold it down tight. Squeeze the clip and the faceplate together and then tighten it well. And now here, tighten that again. That's two. Last one. You still want to apply some pressure while you're putting in all those screws. And there you go, all done. Headband strap in place. It's all attached well. And you can see all the screws are in place and aligned here and there. And she's all done. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment or uh, get in touch at info at